What's up, Jones fam? Today we back with a whole nother video. We're gonna do crawfish and shrimp etouffee today. First off, I wanna say this. Just got my hair cut. My homeboy, fly guy, Mr. Mr. called him John. Do a hell of a job, look at it. My boy do a hell of a job. Besides that, I'm shooting on a Sunday. It's November 1st. My birthday is tomorrow. But I want to bring y'all some content, let y'all see what I'm doing today. Another thing, tell my baby, Rochelle Johns, I love you, baby. I'll see you soon. But let's start off like this. Today we got, you got your bell peppers, you got your onion, you got your green onion, you got fresh parsley. We got cayenne pepper. Black pepper, oregano, rosemary, some more oregano. I'm doing red pepper flakes for the spice instead of using cayenne. I'm going to use a little bit of this, but I'm going to use that red pepper flake for my spice. We got onion powder. We got garlic powder. We got heavy cream. We gonna lose a little chicken broth. Of course we got Uncle Ben's rice that we using. I got my flour measured out already. That's one cup. Ain't gonna use a cup of all to make your root. When you do this, when you look in this pot, I've already sauteed my shrimp, which I'm going to show you now. I sauteed my shrimp already. So that's the flavor you see in that pot. I kept it for a reason because I seasoned my root. Now let's try to get this started. I'm going to do a cup of oil. Just about that much, maybe a little bit more. Go right there. You start an etouffee out just like you start out a gumbo, but you don't want it as dark as you do when you do a gumbo. Y'all just follow me. Again, make sure you wash your hands when you do this. This is going to be your root. This is a slow, tedious process, but it's worth it in the end. Trust me. What you doing, trying to break this down, you basically trying to cook that flour taste out. You see your clumps in there, keep stirring it. You don't want to burn it. A lot of people use water for it. I don't like to do that, but I will add water in the end, which I will show you that. See how we jump right into it? I don't want to hold y'all too long. A lot of y'all might say, well, that's too much grease. It ain't. What I am going to do, add a little bit more flour to it, though. Because it's a little bit looser than I really want it.
See, it's getting right. I'm just gonna put a little bit more flour in there. To get it to the consistency that I want. That's a half a cup of flour. So all together we did one and a half cups. It's a slow process, y'all. But while you're watching this, please go subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Hit that like button. And share this video. If it is anything you want me to do different, hit the comments below. I do read comments and I will respond to you. This is a slow process. You never want to rush it. See all this flavor I got. Like I told you, I did it for a reason. I sauteed those shrimp in this pot for a reason. Well, this is called a wok. I want that flavor. Now I'm adding a little more seasoning to it. This is onion powder. It's about three teaspoons. This is garlic powder. That's about three teaspoons. Get your little black pepper with it. It's about a teaspoon. Just a slow process. Now I'm looking for a peanut butter color. A dark peanut butter color. Me personally, I like my etouffee a little thick. So I want to put me a little bit more flour in there. Not much. About right there. If you haven't checked out my other videos, please go hit John's Family Cooking and go check them out for me. I got my son, we call him Mini Me, behind the camera today. He recording for his old man today instead of me using the tripod. So the video might be a little shaky because that's my youngest boy. But... All in all, he's been doing good doing this. It's 
See, that color looks good, but that ain't what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little bit darker than that. Make sure you scrape that bottom. You don't want it to burn. Now this is tedious, this process is. Just be patient, you're gonna get where you wanna get with your color. Keep moving around. Keep moving around. See my color getting there. You cooking this flour though. That's what you that's your whole goal is to cook this flour. You're gonna start smelling it. I mean you're doing something right. Now let me show you. Get your bell peppers. Put your fire on a little bit. Your bell peppers. You got your onions. You got your parsley. You got your green onions. Right? Now the rest of what I have, I'm going to go in there a little bit later. Want to get transparent for your onions and your bell pepper. Now, what I'm end up doing is thinning this out with that chicken broth I showed you. See that color? What a lot of y'all don't know, the vegetables I put in there, they hold water. So basically what you're doing is getting that water out of them to let it express its aroma. That's all you're doing. Color I've been looking for. Don't get discouraged. It's not hard. I promise you, it's not hard. Take your time, focus. You can do it. Just follow my steps. Got to show you. Got some crawfish tails. Already peeled. Cooked. These are Louisiana crawfish tails that I bought from Kroger's. Each bag is a pound. I got two bags in there.
I apologize for giving you that so late. Now this video here, try to shoot for 20 minutes on this one, then I'm gonna give y'all the end results of what I'm doing. See your vessel start getting soft. What you looking for now? Put a little chicken broth in there. Instead of water. Just mix it off in there. And you sit back, you look at it, see if that's what you're looking for. So yeah, consistency look real nice. That's why you add the water to it. Put a little bit more chicken broth and add some water also. Next time you see it, I'll be adding the crawfish, the shrimp, and more seasoning to it. Again, please go subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video. See you on the next one.